So today, I'm reviewing Pacific Rim The Black. Is set far in the future, a race of monsters called Kaiju arise from the Pacific Rim and over on the continent of Australia. Humans build gigantic armed robots, Jaegers to fight back, but fail, and the continent is abandoned, leaving only isolated pockets of survivors. I think this is the first TV show review on Movie Mania. Obviously, it's just me. Jake is not here for this review. He did not see the show. We haven't really reviewed one before, but this is a show that a lot of people have been recommending me to watch in the comments section a bunch, and I am very glad that I was able to finally watch this show. I was pleasantly surprised by how good this show was. I love so many things about it. As a massive Pacific Rim fan, there's so much to love about this show. And as someone who really wants to see another Pacific Rim movie, this show is a very good treat because it gives you a lot of stuff in the Pacific Rim universe, advances stuff, and explores more that I... Unless we get a new movie, I just don't know if we'll ever be able to see this stuff if it wasn't for a show like this. But basically, like a normal movie review, we can go through the positives. And the positives for this movie are the Jaegers and Kaijus. There's a lot of cool Jaegers and Kaijus. And even though this is animation, I really do like all the different animation in this movie. And the different designs on the Jaegers and Kaijus. There's so many cool ones. And just from the first episode, they explore so much. And so the animation, big positive. The different Jaegers and Kaijus, so many cool ones. Just to point out a couple... Marauder Zeus is the one that has like a machine gun on his arm. It was a really cool Jaeger and I wish we could have seen more of it. It was just in there barely. Uh, obviously Atlas Destroyer is the main Jaeger in the movie. Copperhead is the main kaiju. is really cool. And perhaps my favorite is probably Apex. Which was the kind of hybrid type Jaeger monster kaiju that wasn't didn't have any allegiance. It was really cool. Another big positive is the callbacks that it makes in this movie. I love all the different callbacks to different Jaegers and characters that I thought we'd never hear from again. Really crazy stuff. Some crazy callbacks that was just so cool. The world building in this show was the probably my, the biggest positive because it was so fun to hear about these Jaegers and Kaijus again and, and just hear more about the world in the future because I really didn't think we were going to get another movie. And another positive is the story. It's a really interesting story. You got the beginning where a bunch of stuff's going on. The parents leave their kids on this kind of secluded area and waiting for them to come back, and then a bunch of stuff happens. But the overall story of this brother and sister going, eventually finding a Jaeger and battling, and just going through this whole adventure without giving any spoilers, was really good. And I found the story very interesting. I do have some negatives with the film, but overall the story was a big positive. And to get into those negatives, there's few negatives. Because really thinking back, I really did enjoy most of the show, and I really can't think of too many negatives. It starts out really fast, and then maybe episode 4 or 5 or 6, it does get a little slow, where you do have the different subplots with the different uh, villains. You have the main villain of the movie and kind of their group. That Some stuff with that does get a little slow. But overall, I thought the villains were actually very interesting as well. And there was a lot of different items that they left open, especially for a main villain. That They have a lot of stuff in this movie that they set up for future seasons that I could definitely see happening. One negative I do have, though, is one very big nitpick. And it is, in particular, how they're able to actually fight the Jaegers and Kaijus. I know there's some Kaijus that are very small, but I did have a problem with how easily humans were able to get involved in this movie, especially with RPGs. There's one scene where they're actually able to kill a Kaiju with a rocket launcher RPG, which I just thought was ridiculous. I don't think humans should be able to have that much of an effect. In this movie, it does kind of make sense that humans can get involved, though, in that aspect. I feel like Jaegers should be the only way to take these things down. And when they're firing rockets at Atlas Destroyer's legs... You hear someone say that he's at 50%, the damage is at 50% capacity. Now, this could be because it's a prototype training Jaeger that is possible, but I really thought that was kind of ridiculous. I don't think RPGs should be able to damage these Jaegers. It would have to take hundreds, if not thousands of rockets to damage these things because of what they're able to actually go up against. So I thought that was a little frustrating because I'm thinking the Jaegers are way more tough than that. But overall, there are so many different cool monsters and Jaegers that I just I love so much. I loved hearing all the references to different characters, different Jaegers, and the world building overall. Even these small dog type kaijus that they'll explore more I'm sure in future seasons. The boy character that some crazy stuff happens there. And that was all really cool as well. But overall I'd have to give this TV show a 9 out of 10. I just said it was a movie. 
this TV show was really good. I thought it was really good for sure. It's short, but I just love all the animation, all the different Jaegers and Kaijus you see, and all the world building is just something that's so interesting and just had me like losing my mind throughout the whole thing. But that was my review for Pacific Rim The Black. I know this is a TV show, so it's kind of hard to review it. It's a little more complicated to review since it's a lot of different episodes. But overall, this show was really good. I'm glad. I'm really glad people were recommending this to me. And I recommend this to any Pacific Rim fan, any MonsterVerse fan, especially Pacific Rim. If you're a fan of Pacific Rim, you got to see the show. I'm sure you've already seen it. I wish I would have seen this sooner. But nonetheless, I was glad to see it. And make sure you let me know down below what you thought of the show if you've seen it and give me lots of recommendations for versus videos on this movie because I've been looking at it a lot. I've been studying it, writing down a lot of names of the monsters and kaijus and there's so many cool ones that I think would be great in the videos. I've seen people putting recommendations already in the comments but make sure you let me know which matchup I should do next with characters from this movie and connecting with the other movies. Make sure you let me know down below and thanks for watching.